Human beings from the planet Earth. It's quite interesting. I was sitting here at the Yamhill County Courthouse, uh, and two gentlemen came up, started talking to me about uh, the writing on the back of my vehicle. They found it quite interesting, and they were encouraged that somebody was standing up. And so we talked for a while, um, and they presented me with what they have been trying to get the Yamhill Board of Commissioners uh, to understand for quite some time because the board is opening with prayer and to these gentlemen that's offensive in some ways and they feel that uh, this isn't the place for it and I agree government and religion are to stay separate in this country uh, and they handed me their notes which they claim for quite some time now have been ignored by the Yamhill Board of Commissioners and I'll read to you what they had stated today at the meeting. Uh, it reads, I am against religious invocations at any government meetings or proceedings because it is divisive. Prayer cannot be proved to work and it cripples rational thinking for believers. Uh, March 2006, Harvard Medical School Office of Public Affairs released findings that the largest study of third-party prayer suggests such prayer are not effective in reducing complications following heart surgery. Uh, the step, study of therapeutic effects and intercessory prayer team composed of investigators at six academic medical centers, Baptist Memorial Hospital in Memphis, Tennessee, Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center in Boston, Massachusetts, Integris Baptist Medical Center in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, St. Joseph's Hospital in Tampa, Florida, Washington Hospital Center in Washington, D.C., the investigators found that intercessory prayer had no effect on recovery from surgery without complications. The study also found that patients who knew they were receiving intercessory prayer fared worse. The paper appears in the April 2006 issue of American Heart Journal. May 2009, Christianity Today had an article by Gregory and Christopher Fung referring to the Harvard step findings. Ironically, Ironically, STEP actually supports the Christian worldview. Our prayers are nothing like, uh, at all like magical incantation. Our God bears no resemblance to a vending machine. The real scandal of the study is not that the prayed for group did worse, but the not prayed for group received just as much, if not more, of God's blessing. In other words, God seems to have granted favor without regard to either the qu quantity or even the quality of the prayers. By instinct, we might selfishly prefer that God give pre preferential treatment to those who are especially, deliberately, and correctly prayed for, but he seems to act otherwise. True to his character, God appears inclined to heal and bless as many as possible. The authors want you to consider that prayer works because unprayed for people don't die a horrible death. That's one way of ignoring the evidence when it's staring you in the face. Religious invocations have no place in a rational government of, by, and for all the people. It makes about as much sense as having a witch doctor come in and toss some bones for good luck. I know this would be acceptable to the Board of Commissioners showing its lack of prejudice to any one group, but this is how our government should be running. It does not lend itself to a professional environment of clear thought and decision making. I leave you with a quote from Thomas Paine. All national institutions of churches, whether Jewish, Christian, or Turkish, appear to me no other than human inventions, set up to terrify and enslave mankind and monopolize power and profit. And uh, I, I agree with that last statement. Um, faith is a wonderful thing, but when it's forced upon a people, uh, it's injustice. And when people from the community approach a board with valid uh, information and they are ignored, well, that's when I do what I do. I br present to you the information and ask you to take action. I will, in the link below the video, uh, put contact information from the Yamhill Board of Commissioners and to Mike and his partner who talked to me for a good 20 minutes uh, 
the interaction w was awesome, and I appreciate your time, sirs. Much love, many thanks, and I'll see you soon. Well, back with you quickly, human beings. Um, I was on my way to work when, when you saw the first part of the video, and Mike approached me uh, because of the writing on my vehicle and addressed this issue that he's been trying to get through to the Board of Commissioners here in Yamhill County, Oregon. And so I thought I would just show you guys their website and introduce you to the uh, Board of Commissioners. Uh, first up, Alan Springer. He's the chair. Next in line is Mary Sterrett. She's the vice chair. And Stan Primazich, uh, what's he? he is county commissioner, uh, first term as county commissioner. A um, lot of interesting information here on the website, like their contact information. If you agree with Mike, uh, as I do, that uh, the separation of church and state should stand, it's not an efficient way to run a government, and, and it doesn't um, conform to the law of the land. So uh, I agree with Mike on that. If you agree with that, um, then give him a call. I'll put this stuff uh, down below so that you don't have to visit their website. Uh, if you do want to visit their website, like I am doing now, and explore some of the stuff, you'll find all kinds of information, like this bit of information that I found and reviewed, which is irrelevant now, but does show um, that, you know, they are against uh, some things here, like they tried to put off medical marijuana dispensaries in Yamhill County. So this ordinance is expired now, um, but if you don't know anything about Yamhill County, this is where the wine drinkers are. Yeah, and we know how alcoholics are against, you know, marijuana advocates because marijuana is so evil and alcohol is so wonderful. It's so wonderful, in fact, here in downtown McMinnville, you can sit out on the sidewalk and drink wine and, and alcohol publicly, and it's endorsed. And in fact, uh, they try to push the children out of there with signs that say you can't skateboard and other targeting by uh, the local uh, police enforcement entities, park rangers, etc. So anyway, there's just my quick review. I can't say any more beyond this about the board because I haven't interacted with them and I haven't uh, completed my investigation. But... Uh, the contact number is below, and uh, I would ask you guys to stand behind Mike and his partner. And again, gentlemen, uh, thank you for stopping up and talking to me and, um, you know, for sharing uh, your concerns as well. Much love to you all. Many thanks, and I'll see you soon. You put your body upon the gears and upon the wheels, upon the levers, upon all the apparatus, and you've got to make it stop, and you've got to win the